Perfect. Awesome. Well, welcome. I'm Arian from Ignite Post. I'm here with uh, Anda, who is our newest team member. Hi, Anda. Welcome. Hi. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, we're excited uh, to have you on board and have you on the team. Uh, so in keeping with Ignite Post tradition, what we like to do is every time somebody uh, comes onto the team, we do a little employee spotlight um, kind of video, write up a little blog post article about them just to let everybody get to know the people behind the robots, if you will. So, Love it. Uh, Love it. So I I'm excited to, to chat more and find out a little bit more uh, about yourself and your interests, et cetera. So uh, why, don't, why don't we dive into it? Sounds great. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Well, so to kick it off, first start, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, where is your hometown? Where are you from? And where do you call home if you are living somewhere other than where you're originally from? Got it. Got it. Okay. Excellent. So again, yes, my name is Amba. Um, let's see here. I grew up in Santa Cruz, California. So I'm over on the West Coast. Um, Pretty much, yeah, spent, uh, grew up there, kind of travel, live actually a little bit all over California in different areas, okay. uh, but I currently live in San Diego, and I've been here, I've actually lived here twice uh, in my adult life, and uh, this time around, it'll be seven years in November, so I've been in San Diego for some time. Nice, so you liked it enough to come back a second time, so that, that exactly. speaks volumes, it, nice. Yeah, it was actually, it was, I, it, I joke around, I'm a little bit of a boomerang with it. And it was actually the reason I missed it so much is which is why I came back. I was only gone for a year. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Well, that makes sense. That's good. Yeah. If you know you like a place, you know you like it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's great. I'm very, very lucky. <laughs> awesome. awesome. So tell us a little bit about, you know, what kind of interests and hobbies do you have outside of work? What do you enjoy doing? Oh, gosh. Okay. A little bit of everything. Um, okay. So let's see here. One that I've just always kind of had is baking. I've always been a big baker um, and I give away what I bake, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, and I've been baking since I was a kid. And, um, but my like real like passion in terms of baking, I hone in on cookies and pies. Those are my two like favorite parts of baking. Okay. Um, I'll dabble in breads, cakes, things like that. But um, I've been on a big pie kick lately. So okay. getting creative with pies. <laughs> now, do you, is there, do you have a favorite type of cookie or favorite type of pie to make? Uh, I'm cur curious to, to dive in more there. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So cookies, I maybe a little bit of a lazy baker. I prefer <laughs> like the drop cookies where you're not okay. having to do cookie cutters yep, and no, decorate. I, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Um, pies really anything with like a pastry crust um fruit pies are really big i've done some cold set pies and i still do those you know occasionally but a fruit pie and i just geek out on different types of like pie dishes like i've got cast iron i've got ceramic i've got glass i've got metal <laughs> you know, just nice. all of the above <laughs> <laughs> okay i yeah. love it i love it um, and not just baking, I'm, I also love woodworking um, okay. in terms of making live edge furniture, mostly coffee tables. Um, I, so I geek out on that a, a bit in terms of working with different species. I've sold a few. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. And then for fitness, when it's not COVID, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, box for fitness. So nice. yeah, yeah. So um, a little bit of everything. And I'm always just kind of trying new things, picking up new things. I love it. You know, I, I dabbled with boxing a little bit as well. And I can tell you it's the best workout I've ever gotten in my life. I, was, I think I was the fittest, most in shape when I was, uh, when I was boxing consistently. So it, it is, it's a workout. It is a workout. It is exhausting, but you feel so great afterwards and you feel so just empowering afterwards, but oh my gosh being in that ring and you you have to focus on what's right in front of you so it's actually very um i almost want to say zen in a way because you're just you can't yeah. think about anything else you have you to have ignore to. everything else and like yeah. you gotta be in the moment in the moment yep. um but it is um it is a tough tough workout <laughs> oh, yeah i i agree i agree i remember those workouts uh, yeah <laughs> yeah nice. so it's kind of segueing. We talked a little bit about how you like baking, uh, mm -hmm. but would love to hear, you know, what is your favorite food or what's your favorite meal? Oh, favorite food, hands down. I, if I had to eat this for every meal for the rest of my life would be mashed potatoes. Really? I mean, okay, nice, yeah. nice. 
<laughs> not the cookies, not the pies. It would actually be mashed potatoes, and it doesn't okay. even have to be dressed up. I just love mashed just potatoes. Love mashed potatoes. Just yeah. give me potatoes, mash them up, give them to me. Got yep. it. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. I, I would not have guessed that, but I believe it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If if it's a side option on a menu with a restaurant, I'm always going that direction. <laughs> All right. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Um, so kind of moving on from that, tell us a fun fact about yourself that is fun, but most other people probably don't know about you. Oh, gosh. Um, I was in a commercial for Ford trucks when I was a kid. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. All right. So now I have a lot of questions. So yeah, number yeah. one, tell me, how did this come about? Number one. And then number two, what truck? <laughs> yeah. Well, I have to say it was so long ago. I don't remember which truck, but okay. I do know I do remember it was four trucks. And uh they actually wanted me to play somebody older. I was around 12 or 13, and they wanted me okay. to play like a 16-year-old, which was a little kind of um, I was like, I don't think I look like a 16-year-old, right, but yeah. <laughs> and then they actually put me with a TV family. So I had a TV family for a few like hours. Oh, it, yeah, it was, it, and it was a really interesting process how they pivot and change, you know, throughout the whole thing. But it, it was a whole day process. And how did it start? I had a friend in elementary school that actually had her own TV show. It was okay. a kid's TV show and she was quite successful with it. It's fantastic. She had an agent and they were looking for um, someone with kind of, you know, blonde hair, you know, uh, my height and everything and just similar to my looks and her mom had spoken with my mom and asked if I was willing to do it and I was actually very timid at first because I was like I don't is this gonna be aired like yeah are my you know I was like I was really really timid yeah, at first like are my friends gonna see this and stuff yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was I was really really embarrassed uh but it ended up only being aired on the east coast Okay. And so it wasn't even, so it was filmed on the West Coast, but it aired only on the East Coast. And it was, uh, yeah, for Ford trucks. And um, <laughs> I remember my mom and I had to get there like 5.30 a.m. Oh, wow. So it really was like an all-day event. It was an all-day event. And then they do the whole hair and makeup. They, oh, wow. Yeah, the wardrobe. Um, and then they place you in different areas and ask you to do different things. And then, again, I was placed with the TV family it was it was a very interesting process and just absolute props to all actors and actresses <laughs> out there because it is grueling um I just remember being really excited about the food at one point <laughs> because I was so hungry <laughs> yeah yeah well that's fun so you got to be a movie star for a day yeah for a day yeah yeah nice. um wasn't something that I was like oh I want to do this for <laughs> <laughs> right for my career but uh uh definitely pops everyone that does that and um gosh yeah so i was around 12 or 13 and there's some footage of me out there somewhere of all right being in a we'll, ford truck we'll commercial we'll, we'll dig it up <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> nice so kind of like i guess a little similar along the same lines mm -hmm. you know tell us do you have a favorite movie or book or music recommendation i always like to kind of ask this question like maybe pick Pick one of either like a favorite movie, book, or music, and uh, tell us a little bit, little bit about it. Um, okay, so it's so hard for me to pick a favorite. It really is. Um, but because my, my taste is a little bit of, of, of everything. And funny enough, a lot of people don't know this about me, but like one of my favorite podcasts is around old Hollywood. Okay. Called, yeah, you must remember this. And here's all these amazing stories from these old actors and actresses and which is funny because again, I'm love learning about it. I just don't want to be yeah. in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then also, um, I, I don't know why, I guess if I were to choose a movie that I could watch over and over and over again, and everyone is always surprised when I say this, <laughs> uh, but it's Moneyball. And okay. nice. I, it's like, I'm not a big baseball fan, but I just love that movie. <laughs> okay. I get it. I, I've, never, I've never seen it, so I'm putting it on oh. my list. Please put it on your list. It's really good. It's a feel good movie. Um, I, I'm not, I don't know. I just, it's like, you know, the underdogs just trying to come up and it was just, it's fascinating to me. And so yeah. I, I, I love that movie, but I really, I, I mean, that's, if I had to pick a favorite, um, probably the teenage 
self, my teenage old self would probably say Titanic back in the day. Okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, uh, yeah. And I just, I love all real genres of movies, um, books right now. I'm reading green lights by, uh, Matthew McConaughey, which is really, oh, nice. really good. Okay. Um, I do enjoy that music. I love everything, but, uh, old school hip hop has a, and rap has a old soft spot in my heart. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like I, the nineties, right. you know, anything in the nineties is a real kicker for me. So All right. that, that's your jam. That's yes. your jam. Yes. Got it. <laughs> Absolutely. Cool. So, so now segueing a little bit to towards Ignite Post, um, you know, tell us a little bit, what is your role at Ignite Post and kind of let's, let's dive in and, and talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Yeah. So my official title is director of sales, but what does that mean? And what does that uh, really entail? It's everything in terms <laughs> of working with clients, uh, educating potential clients on what Ignite Post does and how we can help them. And also just really kind of uh, getting the word of Ignite Post out there. So I'm doing a little bit of everything, uh, a, a bit of a Jane of all trades in a way where I am you know, going in and saying, okay, hey, we work with robots, which a lot of people really get giddy about, which is really exciting. Um, robots and, are always fun. Always fun, right? Um, and just really getting the word out there as to, in terms of a different marketing effort to help folks, but it's not, I don't even like to think it just as marketing, it's really building client relationships. And that's one of my favorite really? things to do just for me personally. So uh, educating others and uh, getting folks on board is is really all in my role. Nice, nice. And so that actually is a good segue to my next question, which is uh -huh. going to be, what's your favorite thing or something you look forward to uh, every time you come to work? Oh my gosh, this has been <laughs> so much fun uh, the past few weeks. I have just, I, I do wake up really, really excited and working with everyone has been really, really cool and exciting and learning with different, uh, you know, working with you, Ariane, also working with Christy from the development side, working out with our director of uh, fulfillment, Leo, and who gets to work, <laughs> you know, so closely with the robots and Sunny in terms of some additional marketing efforts, but also fulfillment. Yep. It's really the whole team is uh, just a lot of fun, but really getting to talk with folks and hearing their excitement about the fact that <laughs> we on our team were outnumbered by robots. I mean, That's we have true. more robots yeah. on the team than we do humans and, <laughs> and they get even more excited hearing that they have names and they have personalities yeah. <laughs> and they are employees of Ignite Post. So um, all of that is just really, really fun. And just really being a part of the, the heavy lifting and the process of, um, you know, letting folks know what we do and how we can help them out. Nice. Awesome. I, I love it. Uh, and so kind of, same thing. Is, is there a current project that you're working on? Like, tell us a little bit about, you know, your, your current day-to-day -day endeavors or what, what you've got going on currently. Yeah. Yeah. So right now it's a lot of just creating some different branches of efficiency. Um, so we can really hit the ground running, but I am working in not only talking with clients and folks, but also working with marketing also just kind of, you know, um, different email campaigns, uh, getting the word out there. And just so folks are really, really aware of what we're doing. Yep. I, I am talking with some really, really exciting potential customers. I won't name any names yet, but <laughs> um, just in some of their ideas of how they want to use Ignite Post. And that's just a lot of fun as well. Nice. Very cool. I, and I know, cause I've been on some of those calls. And so sometimes you have to like rein people in cause they start going in all kinds of different directions. Like, oh, oh yeah. we can do this and this and this. So I, I totally get that. And that's what's so exciting. It's like, it can be used so many different ways and there's so many different avenues. And it's just, what's so fun is it, it I mean, I get giddy and I kind of <laughs> have to rein myself in too. Right? And, you know, just kind of be like, okay, well, you know, we're doing this, we're, you know, we could do this, we could do that. And it's like, where do we start? And right. then once you get that starting point, then, then go from there. Right. Totally. Uh, so awesome. So kind of moving on from Ignite Post stuff. So tell us about, you know, you personally, like, is there anything new or any big life events that have happened uh, lately? Anything that you, uh, you know, it's kind of fun or you want to, you want to share? Oh gosh, I would not say any big life events. Um, I'm just always kind of, you know, trying out new things, even, 
you know, safely, you know, in yeah. COVID times. Um, a new goal of mine is learn how to roller skate. Um, okay, nice. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I knew a little bit when I was a kid, but I uh, really kind of tried to pick that up. And um, I'm hoping by uh, early next year, borders are open enough so I can uh, plan another solo vacation. I love doing solo vacations. And so um, I'll be starting a new decade. And so that will be exciting. So um, oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So things like that. But um, I would say the big life event right now is getting my feet wet and, and working with Ignite Post. That's right. Nice. Yeah. So you, you told me a little bit about uh, one of your goals, but kind of beyond the, the goals and like looking forward to uh, taking a, a solo vacation. Is there anything else that you're looking forward to in, in the coming months? Oh, gosh. Um, it. <laughs> <laughs> There's always so many, right? Uh, I would say in terms of Ignite Post, I I really want to focus on getting the, the word out there and just, you know, where all the different branches that we can go, which is really, really exciting. So that's, that's pretty high um, on my priority list. In terms of personal goals, trying out different pies, getting those oh, right, roller yeah. skates on, <laughs> things like that. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Thank you so much for uh, for chatting. Like I said, I always like to do this these you know initial uh, spotlight Absolutely. interviews because it just gives I learn a lot. So I've learned a bunch just from chatting with you these last couple minutes. Uh, but I'm sure everybody else enjoys getting to know the people behind the robots too. So thank you so much. We'll take this. We'll create a nice uh, uh, article on our blog, do a little write up, and uh, we'll we'll get it out there on social media so people can get to know you a little bit better. Thank you so much. It's, I'm just so excited to be here. And thank you for taking the time to chat with me. I really appreciate it. And I'm just really excited to kind of keep moving forward. Me too. I'm excited to see what's next. Excellent. <laughs> thank you again. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, thank you. All right. I'll chat with you soon. All right. Sounds good. See ya. All right. Bye. <laughs>